<laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Emilio. I am the food god, and we are doing some jasmine rice with some shrimp and some cucumber and the sausage. Yeah, and the bee love sauce. Bee love sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I put this sauce up so hot. Let's just put some of this. So today's Ask Emilio. I haven't done Ask Emilio, and um, I had a new question. I saw the email come in, so I'm going to read that question. And if you've never uh, visited the Ask Emilio segment, um, it's basically where someone asks me a question, and I um, pretty much read the answer or give my opinion on it, so to speak. Because people value my opinion, you know. Uh, excuse me. Alright, it says, Dearest Emilio, I am a 19 year old, soon to be 20 next month. <clears throat> mm. What the hell is that? I've got a serious crush on my next door neighbor who is 35 years old. I find myself always looking at him with burning desire. He is single and has many female friends, but I have not seen one stay overnight. I'm African American and he's Korean. He's always very nice to me. I want to approach him and tell him how I feel, but I'm scared of how my parents will feel. Can you give me some advice? Desire. I ain't even know 19 year olds watch my show, to be honest. Okay, the desire. Um oh. You know, that's, that's a little tricky because this is a grown man that you're talking about here. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go into it with, if, I wouldn't go, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Let me tell you, you his neighbor, and it sounds like you know a lot of my work going on at his house. Ask yourself, do you want to be one of those? And if you do, that's okay. Nothing against those. If you do. And nothing against that. Do what you do. And nobody gonna fault you. But do know whether the man was 35, 45, 20, 50, whatever. Hmm. That next door thing. Oh, that's so spicy and good. That next door thing can be sketch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Really? Careful. <clears throat> of course, <coughs> of course, you gonna know what Mama gonna say. Mama gonna be totally against it because Mama know better. You know what I'm saying? Who you think, Mama? Y'all, I'm watching Kaya. <laughs> Y'all wanna watch? I wanna watch Kaya. So if you tell your Mama. Um, you know mom gonna be against it, so that can be a dangerous situation for you and everybody um surrounding. So just be careful. Um mm, from the sheer details that you provided Sounds like you know where it's gonna go. There's no suitors staying overnight. But, um, you know, you especially ain't staying overnight. And you next door, he's gonna see you right home. Sounds like you know the kind of person that he is. So just, um, you know. I say if you do go into it, don't go into it with no feelings because obviously, you know, this person um, doesn't 
do feelings. You know, don't get yourself hurt over nothing. Mmm. I don't think. That's right, Clay. I know it's that I love you. I'm so proud. I'm surprised I got to meet you tonight. You are so beautiful. She's hilarious to me. Oh, she's a Scorpio. That's why she's a free free. That's why her mouth so nasty. I ain't saying her mouth like nasty. I'm just saying like her lyrics. Free free. Scorpio. That make a lot of sense. Oh, I'm done with Scorpio. Alright, y'all, I know some people, you know, they have their own opinion. She's a businesswoman. <laughs> She's making money. Off of y'all not liking her. But, but yeah. These things in my head sound like little rattlers. <clears throat> it's spicy. The longer you let it sit, the more spicy it get. That rhyme. I choked the hell out of you. This smells so good. So y'all decided. This is, this is expensive. So, um, I decided to leave the metal clips in my head. If y'all haven't noticed, so a video or two probably have them in there. Um, my hair is really soft. So, by the time I lay down at night, in the back of my head sweat, it's over. Lady told me to try something different. And I told her I have to, you know, get on YouTube. And I don't know if it's proper. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how I eat. I forget I put two times spice in it. young and dumb that's not what I'm saying but back to the discussion um, you know with age you know you definitely acquire a different um, set of you know words that sound good you know what I'm saying Comfortable enough to approach them, they probably felt comfortable enough to approach you and to lead to something else. What else is going on? It sounds like y'all have already done it. sausage but um we had a little barbecue yesterday and there was some um turkey turkey here 
So this is actually all very healthy. This is a healthy meal, you guys. It's cucumber, shrimp, healthy. Um, turkey sausage, rice. Come on. Real. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't see that. Really healthy in 2020. Healthy. Mm hmm. Some of that rice over that sauce. There's some of that rice over that sauce. Some of that sauce over there, right? Mm hmm. Shit while I sleep. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody in my neighborhood. I don't want nobody. Does it somehow watch me come in? Ow. Hey, for that. This kills me. The way these things shake when I. I was at the grocery store, just like this, too dear. I walked to the grocery store, just like this. All I do, too dear. Because it's like the Sixers, y'all, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't see what goes on in the background. Try to look good for y'all. Oh, and for me too. So I like to feel good, but um, yeah, sure did. <laughs> just said. Normally it takes two months for it to lock. But since my hair is so soft, it'll take months for me. Uh, well, let me help it out a little bit. Y'all, we don't want to do some things together. <laughs> Darn. Darn, got me through them.
Mm. Why your neighbor though? <laughs> I'm just in the thing. Like, why your neighbor? I mean, it's not uncommon. You know, I guess, you know, I don't want to make you feel bad. You know, it's kind of like a teacher. I had a huge crutch on my teacher. Um, she was a white lady. And she was like, probably like six, seven. Everybody in her family is really tall. She could have been shorter than that, but I was a kid. But I had a huge crush on her. I was a kid. I don't know why. Sure did. Like, this is not uncommon. I'm swimming. This is probably like a neighborhood situation where you probably, you know, watch this person, you know, living around this person. They probably don't wash the car in the yard with their shirt off. So, you know how, um, that's why people put wooden fence up. <laughs> you know, the thing like that affects your children's minds, whether people believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I do the shirtless video sometimes. And it always, you know, you know, you know I ain't gonna say it bothers me, but I don't want my niece to come across that one day. Like the other day, my niece told me to put my pants up. <laughs> Which I don't say or nothing like that, you know. But I appreciate that she said that because, I mean, she let me know, you know. That was the that was the time for the example. I had to at that moment set the example for her of the type of man that she should you know be going after and looking for. So I pulled my pants up. There it is. That was the moment. And not to say that people who wear their pants down or are any less of a person I have to always say that. I was able to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to fill out. You know, because that's all she's seeing. That's what she has to, you know, go after, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I've always tried to do. But, because like I know I grew up in the hood. All the kids that's under me know we all grew up in the hood. But I've always strived to be that person to give an alternate appearance of you don't have to, you know. Yeah, when I'm with my homies, yeah, you know, it, you know, it's comfortable. But you know, when I'm around like my niece and the kids, and you know, here's what else is out there. They don't all look like that, you know. I'm not just saying all labels looking like that. That's bad. I'm just an alternate view of what a black man can look like. Beyond the stereotype. And that was my biggest goal with this channel, to be quite honest. I don't know how I got on this topic. I was talking about my niece. That was my biggest goal with this channel. I didn't know where I came from. I knew how I grew up. I know how I am when I'm in the hood. At the same time, I would love to give an alternate view of the black man. And I think I've done that pretty well. You know, they were good. 
and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Did I ever show y'all this? I think I did, but some of y'all may not have seen it. If you like cucumbers, vinegar, salt, and pepper, and we're going to goddamn love this. Look at this. Watch this. And it had to be Louisiana. It can't be near another. It got to be Louisiana. I like all other ones too. Trust me, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's the flavor. <laughs> it's good though. Oh my god. You know, some people hiccup and they eat hot stuff. I choke. I choke. I'm trying to stay with them. Bye, I'm not sure. Try to walk away at night, stumble. I ain't trying to let y'all slide because I'm going to slide. I appreciate y'all watching. appreciate y'all joining. And thank you so much. If it's your first time here, click like and subscribe below. My email address is in the description box. So if you'd like to ask Emilio a question, ask away. And I have great advice. And I give great opinions. Okay? Positive people.